and welcome to The Daily 5 at 10, your daily 5-ish minute essay update. I'm your host, Jasmine Tran. And I'm Zeke Samoy. Today is Monday, February 6th. Now, what could the old Daily 5 at 10 crew have in store for you all today? <laughs> well, I triple dog dare you, Jasmine, to ask me a harder question because I'm happy to say that we're back with another Mental Health Monday. Last week, our Vice President of Operations and Events, Barbara, sent out an announcement regarding a newly available Paylocity mental health training. So, we thought it'd be helpful to give you all a sneak peek at the training and hopefully encourage you all to take it as well. And in other news, it's National Chopsticks Day. So let's chow down and learn all about this new training. This is Mental Health Monday. Our mental well-being includes our emotional, psychological, and social health. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also affects how we handle stress, relate to others, and make choices. Our mental well-being positively impacts our full selves, including us at work. That's why it's important to understand how it can positively and negatively impact our professional lives. We are all affected by mental health, which is why it should be a priority. Mental well-being is vital to creating a happy and healthy workspace. Workplaces with positive mental wellness see increased morale and productivity, result in less stress, and fosters psychological safety. As a result, this will make individuals more comfortable to be themselves, speak their minds, and create a more inviting and inclusive environment. Creating this culture comes down to three elements. Supporting your coworkers' mental health, taking care of your own mental health, and committing to end the stigma around mental illness. Supporting your coworkers' mental health can be as easy as recognizing their efforts and contributions. Take the time to send them a quick email or Teams message from time to time to show that they are valued and appreciated. Take care of your own mental health by making it a priority to take physical and mental breaks. Familiarize yourself with mental health resources such as the Employee Assistance Program provided by the SLA and also recognize your own achievements. Lastly, it is important, important to end the stigma around mental health. Unless we change the negative perception around it, it will only create an environment of shame that causes people to prevent seeking help or treatment. It is up to us to act and change this, perce change this perception to create a safe environment for all. And that's been your weekly segment of Mental Health Monday. We hope that this segment encourages you all to take this training provided by Pilosity. Thank you again to Barbara for bringing this to our attention. And now it's time to unwind and let everyone know what's going on in the SLA. The Last Minute Crew is throwing the SLA's first ever Super Bowl party on Sunday, February 12th from 2.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. The event will be at 2075 Diamond Boulevard, Suite H180, Concord, in the Dave & Buster's Fun & Cheer event room. Please contact Derek if you have any questions. Our SLA annual meeting will take place on February 15th at 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. As we continue to navigate the future, we will be getting updates from our chair, Janet Beaver, and our CEO, Ben McKay. We will also be featuring keynote speaker Nancy Giordano, an expert strategist in artificial intelligence, as she challenges us to think differently. More details are to come, so please stay tuned and keep an eye on your inbox. We have the AM Best Delegated Underwriting, MGA, and Surplus Minds Market Update streaming live on Tuesday, February 21st from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Our very own Chief Industry and Regulatory Officer, David Kadama Jr., will moderate a panel discussion about the growth of MGA, MGU, and program business in the surplus line and specialty insurance industry. Please speak with your manager if you would like to attend. Our CE course, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion You Can Use, Part 2, Unconscious Bias, co-sponsored with the Excess Line Association of New York, will take place on Thursday, February 23rd, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Joining us on the panel are experts who will discuss practical steps that insurance producers and professionals can take to identify unconscious bias and address it on an organizational level. So please speak with your manager if you would like to attend. And with that, I think it's safe to say that it's now time for the Daily Gift Away. So Jasmine, what's today's National Day? It's Chopsticks Day, and today's winner will receive a $25 gift card to DoorDash. Ah, Chopsticks. The widely known waltz for the piano, written in 1877, it is the only published piece from the British composer Euphemia Allen, who wrote it under the pen name Arthur de Lully. <laughs> That's the Chopsticks you're talking about, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. Exactly, so let's pick a winner. But wait, we're down to the last week of our gift away before we draw the $1,000 prize winner. Exactly, you're right. So of course, this week can't be just any drawing. <laughs> we're going to play a nice, friendly game of... 
Bing Bingo! <laughs> Just don't want to make too much noise. Each of the numbers on all these little things correspond to one of the remaining contestants we have in the running. Each day up until the last two are drawn, we'll be spinning, we will be spinning this bingo set to find out who the winner will be. Just as a reminder, here are the remaining names that are left. Runa Joshi, who will be 062. Lisa G, who will be I-19. Claudia Benitez, who will be G-57. Margaret Jai, who will be B-2. Socorro DeSena, who will be I-29. And Latanya Timms, who will be N-45. I can't wait. Jasmine, would you mind doing the honors? Of course. And today's winner is... So, so small. <laughs> G57, which is Claudia Benitez. Congratulations. Congratulations, Claudia. Please don't forget to email us at 5 at 10.slakehow.com to claim your prize or if you have any comments or questions about the show. Keep checking back this week to find out who will be our ultimate $1,000 prize winner. And with that, replacing your daily work coffee break, I'm Jasmine. And I'm Zeke. Thank you. And good night. Our mental well-being includes our emotional, physiological, nope, our... <laughs> Workplaces with positive mental wellness see, see, 